Hey there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson eight. Dividing fractions and mixed numbers. Okay, example one. Introduction to calculating the quotient. Quotient is that word? Quotient is the answer to division problems. Okay, so if I have 6 divided by 3 equals 2, this is the quotient. This is the dividend. This is the divisor. All right, Carly has four and a half walls left to paint in order for all the bedrooms in her house to have the same color paint. However, she has used almost all of her paint and only has five-sixths of a gallon left. She has less than a gallon left. How much paint can she use on each wall in order to have enough paint to paint the remaining walls? It depends on how much she wants the old paint to show, but anyway. So we have four and a half walls. We have five-sixths of a gallon. We're dividing the gallon among four and a half walls. So be careful of your order of what you're dividing. Like we're taking that gallon of paint and we're dividing it by how many walls we have. So first off set up your expression. Five six divided by four and a half. Now in order to divide a fraction by a mixed number, we have to take what we're dividing, the dividend, and leave it. We're going to still say division for now. And we're going to make this a mixed fraction. And in order to make a mixed fraction, take the denominator Multiply it by the whole number out in front, and then add it to the numerator, which was the remainder. So 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So 4 and a half is 9 halves. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, now we can convert this division problem into a multiplication problem. So we take the dividend, switch this to division, Okay, so then we multiply by the reciprocal of this. So we are going to flip this around to two ninths. The multiplicative inverse. So we're going to take five six times two ninths. Now that we have a multiplication problem, we just simply multiply the numerators, five times two, and the denominators, six times nine. We get 10 54ths, which reduces, they're both even, to 5 over 27. Okay? So how much paint can we use? 527 5 of the remainder of the gallon goes to each one. Um, that still sounds a little confusing, so what I would kind of do, because you should be thinking, not just mathematically, but real world scenario does this make sense and can I picture what I just saw okay 5 over 27 is really close to 5 over 25 which is 1 fifth which is 20 percent okay so picture this gallon of paint you have a gallon of paint and it's full to here that's 5 6 so what this means is we're going to take what we have and divide it, divide it by five. So each little fifth is going to be used. One, two, three, four, five. One too many. So here's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so each little teeny bit would be enough for each block is what this means. Okay. Now, this part wasn't necessary, but I'd like you to think about the problems you're working on. And does your answer really make sense? D. Calculate the quotient. Now, this isn't a word problem. It's just simply find the answer to this division problem, which is what a quotient is. So, we're going to follow the same steps. We don't do anything with the dividend. We don't change the division yet. We take 7 times 3. I'm going to write this this time. 7 times 3 
and we're going to do that first, and then we're going to add 4, and we're going to put that all over our denominator. So it's the denominator times the number out in front, plus the numerator, all over the original denominator. So 7 times 3 is 21, plus 4 is 25, and that's over 7. Then we re rewrite this again. Again, what we're dividing never changes. Switch this to multiplication, and we flip the fraction. Multiplicative inverse, and now we just simply multiply straight across. 2 times 7 is 14. 5 times 25 is 125. And we are done. Okay. So here it says, show your work for the memory gain in the boxes provided below. What I did in class was I passed out um, several examples and then had them work on them in groups. And then we came together and came up with a conclusion. So let me bring in the questions and then I'll work each one. Okay, so it says, show your work for the memory gain. And the box is provided below. So now these are the problems that the students got in class. So I'm going to work these. Okay, power out of zero for a moment. And for some reason, my pen is no longer a pen. It's just the arrow, but that's fine. I'll be a little bit more challenging to write with. Okay, so now what I need to do is take three quarters divided by six and two thirds. So three quarters. Divided by, and the first thing I do is make this mix. 6 times 3 is 18. This mix has to be a proper. 3 times 6, 18, plus 2 is 20. Divided by the original. And that's going to equal 3 over 4 times 3 over 20, which equals 9 over 8. Alright, number 2, or B. Rewrite the first term, rewrite the division, make this mixed. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 is 19, over 4. Flip the second and make it multiplication. Multiply the numerator times the numerator. And 3 times 19 is 57. Leave the first number the same. Divided by 8 times 1 is 8 plus 7 is 15 over 8 equals 2 over 5 times 8 over 15. Reciprocal equals 2 times 8, 5 times 15. Okay. These are backwards. This is the Mixed fraction. We'll make it improper. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. Divided by 2, divided by 5 by 6. I'm just going to show one step at a time. Now we're still going to leave the first term the way it is, even though that was the one that was mixed. We're going to switch to multiplication and take the reciprocal of 5, 6, which is 6 fifths. And 15 times 6 is 90. And 5 times 2 is 10. Reducing these, is the zeros cancel. 9 divided by 1 is okay. E. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 4 is 25. Over 7. Divided by 5 over 8 equals 25 over 7 times 8 over 5 equals 25 times 8. Well, think if you have 8 quarters, then you have 25 times 8 is 2. 7 times 5 is 35. 5 will go into both of these. 5 goes into 35 7 times. 5 goes into 240 times. Still improper. 7 goes into 40 5 times. 7 times 5 is 35, with a remainder of 5. Finally, that one is 5 and 5 sevenths. Okay. F. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 5 is 45. Divided by 8. 
and then we're going to divide that fraction by 9 over 10, which equals 45 over 8 times 9 over 10 for reciprocal, which is 10 ninths. 45 times 10. Actually, before I even do that, I'm going to reduce that 9. 9 goes into 9 once. Yeah, that's not a very good number. 9 goes into 9 once. 9 goes into 45 five times. 2 goes into 8 four times. 2 goes into 10 five times. If you reduce before you multiply, your number isn't so big to have to reduce it back. 5 times 5 is 25. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 goes into 25 six times. 6 times 4 is 24 with the remainder. This one, what we're dividing is a quarter. I don't change it. 12 times 10 is 120 plus 11 is 131 divided by 12. And that's going to be the same as taking that by quarter and multiplying by 12 over 131. 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 12 three times. 1 times 3. 1 times 131, and that will not reduce. Four times five is twenty. Plus three is twenty-three. Over four divided by five over nine equals twenty-three. Over four times nine over five. Flip it and switch it. And five won't go into twenty-three. Four does not go into nine. I can't reduce twenty-three times nine is two hundred seven. Five times four is twenty. 20 goes into 207 10 times. 20 times 10 is 200 with a remainder of 7. 10 and 7 times. Really helps to know your multiplication tables when we're doing this. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16 divided by 5 divided by 2 thirds equals 16 divided by 15 times the reciprocal. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 16 8 times, 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 15 5 times, 8 times 1, 5 times 1, 5 goes into 8 one time, because I'm checking the key as I go. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I see where I went wrong. I made I went from 5 to 15 right here. So let's scratch this and do it over. Let's try that again. So 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16 over 5 divided by 2 over 3 equals 16 over 5, not 15 times 3 over 2. Now I can reduce the 2 down to a 1 and the 16 down to an 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 goes into 24. 4 times 20. Remainder of 4. Okay, that's better. Next one, 3 over 5 divided by 7 times 3 plus 1. 7 times 3 is 21, and 1 is 22, over 7. 3 divided by 5 times 7 over 22 equals 21 over 110. Okay. 10 divided by 13 divided by 7 times 2 is 14, plus 4 is 18, over 7 equals 10 divided by 13 times 7 over 18 equals 10 times 7. Actually, let's reduce this first. 10 will, 2 will go into 10 5 times. 2 will go into 18 9 times. 5 times 7. 
13 times 9. Okay. L, a 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, divided by the original. divided by 7 eighths equals 9 over 4 times 8 over 7. 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 8 two times. 9 times 2, 1 times 7. 7 times 2 is 14 for the remainder of 4. And I believe that's the end of this lesson. Now go do your prophecy.